Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Mikael. That was that was cringe. Take two. Hi guys, Mikael here. So as a person who grew up in Japan, I'm gonna talk about today what you should know first before starting to learn Japanese. Kasi madami na request nato. And disclaimer lang, uh, I'm not a licensed instructor. I'm just a person who likes to share my experience in my way of learning. So if you're interested, let's go. Before we go there. Let's talk about why do you want to learn Japanese. Para sa akin lang, before you start, you should know your purpose before you start learning something. Kasi iba-iba naman mga tao, may gusto lang mag-travel, or mag-work, or to live in Japan someday, or mag ng Japanese, or to watch anime without subs, which is the best thing you can do in your life. Let's talk about travel, or leisure. Do not rely 100% in English pag pumunta kayo sa Japan, because kahit first world country ng Japan, Many people can't still speak English. Kahit pumunta kayo dyan sa convenience store, I'm sure mahirapan kayo makipag-communicate sa staff. Especially sa mga province. Kaya ang advice ko, kung travel lang ang purpose nyo, you should learn some basic phrases or words that you will most likely encounter throughout your day. Like example, Ohayou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Konbanwa. Konnichiwa. Waharimasen. Honyarara. Doko desu ka? Oishi. Itadakimasu. You can search naman sa internet like common phrases in Japan. And kung vacation lang naman kasi ang plano nyo, you don't need to like memorize hiragana, katakana, kanji. Kasi mas mabuti pang ilaan nyo yung time nyo for memorizing the most important basic phrases and words. Kasi hindi rin naman kayo tatagal so no need to put effort in writing. So let's go to why number two. Um, Watching anime without subtitles, it is the best thing you can do in your life. So, kung nagaral ka ng Japanese for that, you're having a good choice. When you watch anime with subtitles, uh, hindi niya talaga na express fully yung character, especially pag dub. But if you understand how they talk, it's part of building character. Example, si Naruto, he always say, Datte ba yung? Which is hindi naman talaga ginagamit sa real life. Kung maroon ako mag-Japanese, maintindihan mo na, ah, oh, sinasabi niya lang para ma-emphasize na, oh, he's the main character, sinasabi niya lang para madalhin natin siya matandaan. Japanese, Kyoto, Shiro, ina-emphasize na siya yung main character. Pero in real life, hindi naman ginagamit yun kasi pag ginamit mo yun, most likely, alam naman na lahat ng tao si Naruto gumagamit na eh. So pag sinabi mo yun, anong dating mo? Weirdo. So if you are good in Japanese or fluent, may enjoy nyo yung anime twice better. Third wise, sa work. If mag-work kayo dito sa Japan, this is the time na advice ko na maging fluent na kayo sa Japanese. Mag-aaral na kayo. Because the more you know, the more advantages you have. Example, sa work, madami na kasi ako nagawang work. Um, madami na rin ako naka-work na foreigner sa construction, hotel, restaurant, hospital. Usually, when they know what language they use in work, they stop learning Japanese they become comfortable kasi alam na nila yung ginagamit na everyday phrases sa work eh. So if you stop learning, of course, hagan doon lang alam mo. And magiging limited yung mga job opportunities mo tapos mahihirapan ka makisalam mo sa ibang Japanese. Kasi yung Japanese mo limited lang eh. So don't stop learning. Mas maganda maging fluent kayo kung magsasettle na kayo sa Japan. Ang sarap kaya madami kang alam. Marami kang magiging kaibigan. And dadami rin yung mga job opportunities mo. So let's go to problems with beginners. I think common na to. You should have a strong reason why you study Japanese. I, I always see comments in my TikTok videos saying that should I learn Korean or Japanese or this language? I'd be like, what? what? I mean, ganun lang baka dali mamili. Kung ganun ka lang mamili ng language, para na mamili ka lang ng pagkain, parang wala namang commitment dun. Like, it's not something like, oh, I want to learn that. I'll start learning that today. Learning other languages takes effort, time, and commitment. Kaya kailangan yun na reason to inspire you to study every day and be consistent. Kasi marami na ako na encounter na Japanese learner. Sa umpisa, they're so motivated. Pero when they get to difficult phase, they gave up. If you don't have a strong reason to study, then ganun lang kadali mag-give up. Parang sa love life. What? Drama ang put. Next one is where to start learning. So first of all, I recommend ko Nichijo Kaiwa or daily used words. Kasi mas may enjoy natin pag magamit na natin agad. Like, Ohayou gozaimasu. Itadakimasu. Wakarimasen. Konbanwa. Konnichiwa. Hai. Iye. 
Next one is start learning hiragana and katakana. Huwag niyo muna aralin yung kanji next time na kasi mo overwhelm kayo. May makilala akong tao na na-memorize nila yung hiragana and katakana within 2 to 3 days. Actually, ganun na naman kadali. If you study hiragana and katakana for straight 3 days, master nyo na yan. Pero next time ko na i-discuss yung details kasi hahaba yung video. Next one is learn basic vocabularies. Dali lang yan. Alamin mo lahat ng gamit sa kwarto mo. Ketai, pen, kohi, speaker, towel. Mga basics. Kumbaga, alamin mo lahat ng gamit sa kwarto mo. Challenge mo sarili mo na alamin lahat ng gamit. Pag may di ka alam dyan, isearch mo. May internet naman, type mo lang. Kung di mo alam tawag sa coffee sa Japanese, search mo lang. Kohi. And most importantly, read Japanese word in hiragana as much as possible. Do not use romaji or English alphabet kasi magbabago yung pag-pronounce nyo. Example, if you write in romaji, it can sound like namewa. But if you write in hiragana, you can read it like na ma e wa namewa. Simple as that. Next one, how to improve your pronunciation. I would highly suggest that you should keep watching J-dramas, movies, animes, and variety shows. Kasi dun tayo natututo when we listen to other people. There is a word called comprehensible input. I heard it somewhere. Even though you won't understand it 100%, you can get an idea based on body language and their facial reaction. And pwede nyo rin sila gayahin kung para sila magsalita, which I did into learning English. Before, I liked watching American drama so much, so I tried imitating their accent and way of their speaking. I think that's how I learned mostly how to speak than going to school. <laughs> some people say you shouldn't learn Japanese by anime. They are correct in some part. Like a lot of times, anime exaggerate what they say, how they deliver something. And many times, hindi nagagamit sa reality. An example, Datte ba yo? Omae wa mo shindeiru. Ara ara. Pero still, tama naman how they structure sentence and their intonations. Example, when you read something like Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. But if you like watching anime or J-dramas, you could hear them saying Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. At that point, you'll be like, oh, that's how they say it. From now on, I'm gonna say it like that. And habang nanonood kayo ng anime or J-dramas, habang tumatagal, may realize nyo na lang na you're watching without subtitle. And importante dito, Kahit ulit-ulitin nyo yung episode, try nyo master and gayahin how they say something. Ang swerte nga natin ngayon kasi may internet, we can just watch other people talk at the comfort of our room. Just search it. Okay. Uh, magsasalita naman ako ng Japanese because I've been speaking English and Tagalog since earlier. Uh, eto, bago na doon ka umitig ka na tala shitoshi-san wa hotondo Filipino minasama ya kito. Ano, YouTube na analytics yung mitara, nangka gaikku na shitoshi-san wa umitig ka na tala kara. えっと、日本語で喋ろうかなと思って、それとも英語わからん。まあ、フィリピン語かな。どうしよう。英語と日本語の字幕入れようと思ってんねんけど、どうしようかな。どう思いますかコメント欄にコメントしてください。ありがと
like coffee, like coffee, coffee. And sobrang daming loan words sa Japan, kaya I should take note of that. So let's go to the summary of the video. Number one is have a reason to study. Kasi kung wala, magigive up kayo soon. Huwag niyo aralin yung Japanese kasi cool or, or something na mababaw yung dahilan. Number two is no nichijo kaiwa or daily used word. Number three is no hiragana and katakana. By memorizing this, you'll have a better pronunciation of Japanese words. Number four is learning proper pronunciation and intonation by watching other people speak whether in person or anime or J-drama. Pwede nyo lang gayahin kung paano sila magsalita. And that's the summary of the video. If you want to learn more about each of these topics, I'll make a separate video focusing on each so I can discuss it deeply. I hope you took notes and will actually apply all of this. And as I said in the beginning, this is just my own way of learning, so it might not work on other people, it might work on you. So trial and error lang naman, kasi wala namang one way para matuto ng something. Grab lang ng iba't ibang reference. If this works on you, then that's good. If not, then lesson learned. Okay? Arigatou gozaimasu.